This is Hadi Lisha, interventional cardiovascular specialist, presenting a case of balloon pulmonary angioplasty on chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension. First, I would like to thank my teachers, Dr. Riaz Bashir and Dr. Vladimir Lachter from Temple University Medical Center, Center of Excellence for Chronic Thromboembolic Interventions and Surgery. This is an inoperable chronic thromboembolic patient with WHO class 4 dyspnea uh, who has been struggling with uh, bad quality of life on Rio Sigwad. You can notice here that the distal perfusion of the right and left lung is compromised. We always take uh, angiograms in the AP and lateral projections to be able to separate the different branches. This outlines the difficulty in getting to the right lung sometimes. This is a 5 French GR4 diagnostic catheter uh, over an amplatz wire. You can see the amplatz super stiff wire being advanced within the catheter. And as soon as the transition between the stiff and soft components of the wire uh, makes the turn, it prolapses the catheter. So we had to use a 5 French glide uh, catheter, a more supple and flexible catheter. And you can see the catheter telescoping technique with a 7 French by 70 sheath being advanced over the 5 French catheter and uh, all the way down to the interlobar artery of the right lung. It is extremely important to know the anatomy of the vasculature of the pulmonary arterial system and for that obviously it's a complex um, subject. I highly recommend a video that was recorded by Drs. Lachter and Agarwal on the Society of Cardiovascular and Geography and Interventions website. Uh, highly recommend that for um, familiarization with the anatomy. Uh, this was the A7 branch of the right lower lobe. We uh, base our interventions based on physiologic assessment. This is an IFR wire that was advanced across the lesion and you can see upon pullback the uh, distal pressure being improving as soon as the wire crosses the big web causing the severe stenosis in that branch. And we use IVIS for additional safety in order to size the balloon appropriately. Usually 50% of the size of the vessel is what we target. And we, after the angioplasty, we perform a pullback IFR with a body wire being the uh, workhorse wire on the lesion. Uh, this was a 2.5 balloon initially, then a 3.0 balloon. Uh, obviously very small relative to the vessel, but this achieved the physiologic uh, result that we were hoping for. And of course, this was one branch. Uh, we uh, finally ended up doing five different branches in that case with a good clinical result.